Daniel Peich, German Cancer Research Center. Abbreviated and contrast agent free breast magnetic resonance tomography with diffusion weighted imaging. Okay, thank you. That was the right title. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, breast cancer. Like in the last session, we already learned this is a severe disease, so I don't go on through this again. The point I want to make again is um, that in many, many cases, because X-ray mammography lacks diagnostic accuracy, there are many biopsies, so invasive diagnostics that are performed and causes mental stress for uh, women that are actually unnecessary. Why is this unnecessary? I'm going to show you on the next slide. Um, we have developed a short and abbreviated MR protocol, so already using MRI in breast cancer diagnostics is absolutely not standard. And so we wanted to use a breast cancer protocol without the use of contrast agent, which is only seven minutes short, as you see below. I, don't, I will not go into detail, I just show you that the basic sequence is a DWIPS sequence. DWIPS is one kind of diffusion-weighted imaging with background suppression allowing for the creation of maximum intensity projections. So as you see, there uh, are many, many pictures. You can fuse them down to one image, and as radiologists are quite lazy, they're happy that you just have to look at one image, which takes just one minute to identify pot uh, potential lesions. There is another bigger image of one DWIPS maximum intensity projection, and I think you can all identify lesion in the, rest, in the right breast and the left breast. This is from the radio, uh, radiologist perspective. You see homogeneous tissue. And because you don't lose the 3D information, you can also look in the T2-weighted uh, image, create a fusion like you know it from PET, obviously in this case without radioactive tracers, and further characterize the lesion. By doing so, we could rise the positive predictive value from only 50%, which is pretty poor, to about 93%. Still, we are pushing hard to bridge the gap to 100%. So on the last two slides, I want to show you what we are doing now to further characterize breast cancer lesions. So we all know breast cancer cells or cancer cells in general have high energy consumption. This means high glucose consumption. So why not trying to use glucose as a biodegradable contrast agent for MR diagnostics? And I'm curious about showing you the next slide. This is one of the first realizations of a simple glucose experiment in a glioblastoma patient. In the middle, you see the glucose MRI contrast, which clearly outlines the glioblastoma tumor. And like um, also FTG PET imaging, the current field of glucose diagnostics, we think that the main application might also be outside the body, in this case, for example, in breast cancer. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to talking to you after this session. Thank you.